Growing up, I swore, <laughs> I hope this like parallel isn't offensive, but I swore that my house was haunted and like I saw ghosts and stuff like that and I just knew there was something like paranormal about it. And my parents like didn't believe me and they were like, you need help. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Growing Up Reality, the show where we talk about what it's like growing up on TV with famous, iconic, and even supernatural parents. I'm Brooks Marks, son of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, icon, legend, and literally my mom, Meredith Marks. I have a feeling today is going to be iconic, and we have Victoria Caputo, daughter of the Long Island Medium. Can you confirm for us with your psychic abilities, or do they, like, skip a generation? Um, I would say they don't skip a generation, but... So let's get started with some of these questions. What is life like now that the series is recently over? So life has been pretty normal. Like it's a little bit more calm, but still hectic and definitely still crazy. I mean, I can imagine you saying like it's normal. I'm sure to everyone else is not normal. Yes, <laughs> like when people are like, oh, so like, what is it like, like you being on TV? And I'm like, I don't know. It, that's what I grew up like. It's yeah. it, that's normal for me. That that's that's my normal. Right. And when people ask me, oh well, what about like your mom speaking to dead people? And I'm like. That's normal, but it's hard for people to understand. Has it always been like that growing up? Like you've just grown up with her being able to do that? So from what I can remember growing up, I've always known my mom talking to dead people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was my life. I would come home from school, she would be in the kitchen reading whoever, and I would go upstairs in my room. And then when she was done, I was able to come downstairs. That's crazy. That's yeah. like straight out of a movie. Yeah. So what was it like processing all of that information for the first time and coming to the realization that not everyone's mom is like that? You know how like everyone like asks you in school, like, oh, what do your parents do? Uh -huh. I would always just say my mom was a stay-at-home mom because I didn't want to <laughs> turn around and be like, um, so my dad is an Italian importer and my mom talks to dead people. <laughs> like, I didn't want to be like that, you know? So when the TV show started, I was like, wow, okay, this is... Legit, like this is, this is real, this is life now. Sometimes I still look at her to this day and I'm like, how does she know that? How can she do that? You know, and it's just, it's just a gift. Do you have any paranormal abilities of your own? This is hard because I feel like I'm navigating. Usually I can feel someone's emotions or ailments or pains, things like that. I can also do a little bit of what my mom does. I know we don't share that with anybody. Um, I like to keep that kind of quiet, but. So moving on, what was it like seeing yourself on TV as a character and how did it inform how you saw yourself moving forward? So I was 16 mm -hmm. when we started and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool, I'm on TV. And like, to this day, I'm like, we had a TV show? I, I, I don't even know, it was just like, I feel like I'm gonna be 28 now. So it's like, for 10 years, this is what I've known. Right. And it was kind of like, okay, there's gonna be cameras coming to the house and you're just gonna be yourself and you're just gonna film. And then I felt like it just became like second nature. And then like when I look back and I'm like, oh my God, why would I say any of that stuff? I look stupid. No one really knows, you know? how difficult and challenging it really, really is. Yeah, especially when stuff. you're being so open and like transparent about something so personal to your life. Correct, and something that a lot of people don't believe in. Right. I, I try to keep my confidence and everything up as best as I can. Right. And just ignore, ignore all the hate because right. there's people that are gonna love you and there's people that are not gonna like you and that's just mm -hmm. the reality of it. That's so true. And also like everyone always forgets that the people behind the TV screen are human beings. Right. I feel like yeah, they I treat agree. them like they're not. From when I was 16, I had major anxiety and it was very, very severe where I couldn't leave my house. I lost 35 pounds oh my God. and it was very debilitating. And then I started gaining weight. And then people started commenting, you're fat, you're a pig, you're this, you're that. It really took a toll on me. But at the end of the day, like I have to realize like I'm 28 now. Mm. I can't 
look at myself when I was 16, everything changes. And I just feel like I want to use my platform to show people that it's okay to gain weight. It's okay to feel uncomfortable in your body, but also like weight doesn't define you. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anybody to be ashamed of who they are. I agree. A hundred percent. I think that everyone just needs to shut up when it comes to commenting on women's bodies. I agree. I'm so over it. Yeah. On a similar note, what was it like being on Say Yes to the Dress? Amazing. Tell me more. What I made it so amazing? I loved everything about being on Say Yes to the Dress. I went in there like knowing what I wanted, but not knowing what I wanted, and they nailed it on the head, and like it was just fantastic. Well, which one did you end up wearing? I wore both. You had an outfit change? Of course. That's so legendary. <laughs> <laughs> like you wouldn't want to get married here, I feel like. Yeah, probably not. You would like want to go. I feel like I would do a destination like, Italy wedding. Italy or some. I could also see you in velvet. So it's a winter wedding. I don't know. Interesting. I'm starting to believe this might be the truth. Are you using your abilities on me? I don't know. <laughs> What's the difference between Bravo and TLC fans? That is a really good question. Bravo is, I feel like, all about like drama. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then like TLC like has like the quirky weird shows. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pimple Popper. Sometimes that comes up on my TikTok and I'm like, Next. I mean, the Bravo community is so diehard. They can be so loving, and then the second you do something that they don't like, they will eat you alive. Yeah. Which I kind of live for. <laughs> <laughs> My last and final question for you is, basically, I feel like both of our moms have some pretty iconic looks. I mean, my mom's always wearing a blazer with a flare pant. Your mom's got like the legendary hair going on. Like, what has her style been up to now? That hair just keeps getting bigger and bigger every day. <laughs> every day. I but swear, the flares on my mom's pants are getting bigger too. I, it's like the nails are getting longer and pointier. The hair's getting bigger, but um, she's always on point mm -hmm. with her hair and her nails. Mm -hmm. She has to have her hair and her nails done. If they're not done, forget about it. She told my daughter yesterday, she goes, oh, grandma was so busy with you all day, I didn't even get to brush my teeth. And I'm like, oh, okay, mom. You know, it's Did like, she have the hair and the nails? Of course she did. <laughs> that um, comes before brushing the teeth? She, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna play a really fun, quick game called This or That. I'm gonna give you two things and I want you to pick one of them and tell me why. Got it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, minimalism or maximalism? Okay, so it depends. I feel like I'm both. So like for my house, like very minimalistic. Like I like a clean, classic look. But like when it comes to like makeup and like skin products, like give me it all. Yeah. Fear of missing out or fear of better options? FOMO or FOBO? Oh, FOBO. Because I feel like it's all about opportunities in life. I agree. I really don't have FOMO because like I'm happy wherever I am. The only time I have FOMO is at the VMAs because I didn't see Nicki Minaj perform. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> paranormal activity or lady Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters because I don't think I'd be able to handle paranormal activity. Wow, I'm opposite. That's not so scary. You'd rather watch Ghostbusters over Paranormal Activity? Yeah, Paranormal Activity, I would crap my pants. <laughs> oh my god. The Ghostbusters is from like 1982. Ghost by Justin Bieber or Monster by Kanye? Ghost by Justin Bieber. I'm opposite, I'm Monster by Kanye. <laughs> Obviously, because the Nicki Minaj feature. If she's not on the track, I don't want it though. You love Nicki Minaj. I do. Next up, Nutella on Italian bread or peanut butter and jelly? You know what? I was thinking that you were gonna ask this question about peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it's the senses. It's so tricky. I love both, but I think I would have to go with the peanut butter and jelly on yeah. potato bread. Potato bread? Yeah. What's potato bread? It's potato bread. It's like the, yeah, it's... <laughs> I'll buy you a loaf. <laughs> Thank you. It's really good. <laughs> Lastly, I see dead people or I ain't afraid of no ghost. I see dead people? I don't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> There's sometimes I see dead people, so I'm used to that. We're too young for this shit. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's the problem. 
Well, thank you so much for coming here today and talking with me. It was so nice getting to chat with you and hear all about growing up on reality TV. So thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I truly appreciate it. And I loved meeting you. You too.